This is Civilization Revolution run Xbox Series X. The game is running at a 4K resolution with auto HDR support. So this was an attempt to bring Civilization to the consoles during the 360 era, and it actually did a pretty good job. It even got a sequel that was available for the mobile devices a while back, and I thought that was kind of interesting. I typically play as the Romans, and we're going to jump into a play now scenario. So there is like a single player type of campaign, and then there's also some multiplayer elements as well. So this very much plays like your typical civilization experience, you know, kind of the one more turn type of addictive action, but it comes through in a more streamlined setup that is ideal, you know, for the console space. So yeah, this is obviously a really great looking game, I mean it cleans up nicely with the animated look, but I, you know, really do just genuinely love Civilization. I've played it. it. It's actually one of my first games, you know, one of the first games I've ever played was Civilization 2. Maybe not really played as in my father let me play as like, you know, an elephant group <laughs> basically and go out and get destroyed. But you know, from there on, when I when I got older, I played Civilization 2, 3, 4, 5, you know, all stuff like that throughout the many, many years. So, you know, I've got a lot of Kind of knowledge of civilization i thought this was a really cool take on the series because it aimed to do something a little bit different with it and i think it was a beautiful standalone option for the consoles now obviously at this curtain point in time we have different options right we've got we've got civilization 6 so you can basically get the full experience nowadays uh, to some extent I would say you get the full scope of the civilization series whereas at this time uh, we're gonna get killed by those guys at this time you know they needed to do this sort of standalone offering and oh yeah I forgot they don't come out of there do they I, I think it worked out quite well and and like I said this is a really good game I, I quite you know, enjoyed it, I had a lot of fun with it as you go about discovering things, creating new cities, and basically, you know, creating a civilization. Doing diplomacy, creating trade routes, building up different wonders and elements for your bases. It was really cool, and you, you know, you basically evolve through the eras of civilization in order to come out on top, whether you want to win through a number of, you know, different ways and different factors, you know, that kind of all factors in, right? You basically are like, are you going to win by, like, through diplomacy? You're going to win through victory? And there's all these different, like, conditions for which you can, you know, win the game, basically. Mostly it's always the destructive victory, but you get the gist of what I'm saying. But it looks really good here, it looks really sharp, I'm, I'm quite happy with what they were able to achieve with this game. And obviously this is just a very simple start to everything. It, it takes time to build stuff up, discover other civilizations, and, and explore the world. And you move through the different eras and you can see all the things going on. It was just like a very clean way to present this type of experience. Now defend this, oh I, I forgot, we gotta actually like build something out of here. Get a trading post going. Yeah, kinda wanna also build like a settler. Oh no, we, we should do, we're doing the trading post, yeah, okay. Defend the city. Defend it with your life. But yeah, you kinda build up your cities, you unlock new technologies. That gives you options in order to advance further and do new things with your cities. You can build like the great wonders of the world and you know, that's kind of neat. And then there's all these like special scenarios and also like achievements that you can kind of work towards if that makes sense. Well, I mean obviously you know about achievements. But the fun thing about achievements for me in this game were the elements of discovery because you'd be like, okay, how do I do this conditionary thing? How do I get this done? How do I unlock these achievements? And I think I got almost all of them. I don't know if the emulated 360 menu would pop up on this, but you know, I, I worked 
pretty hard at getting a lot of the uh, the achievements unlocked, doing a lot of the different goals and missions it had for you. And it was kind of interesting. Foreign, seek your favor. I want to view the, the trophy room, but thank you. Yeah, we're just kind of building up the influence of Rome. And then you've, you've got all these different, you know, leaders that you can use. I don't know if I should actually build out here or not. And I'm just trying to debate how much space my stuff needs. Because your, your cities, they, they grow over time, right? They've got a lot more kind of room for them to build. And I don't want to, like, eat up my city's potential growth area. But I don't know if it actually goes this far. Because you got to remember, this this is a little bit of a... You know, this is a different game from, like, the the PC version and, and 6, obviously, in general, right? Like, I mean, I don't think there was a PC... I don't believe there was a PC version of of this one because this was like specifically meant for other devices but y you get the gist of what i'm saying and the fact that this is very much a, a different sort of experience from what i'm usually used to when i am playing you know the civilization games and that's totally fine like i said i, I love that we you know can experience this this whole game here and i, I thought this was really cool because i think it may be opened up you know civilization to to new individuals, new people that maybe had never played it before or maybe curious about it. And now you can get a, a taste of what it is. And it was really, really well done. I, I thought it was a really cool... Really? Did he... I don't know. It's fine. Yes, let's have a piece there, Cleopatra. Sounds good. You know, the fun animated characters that pop up and stuff. It's something that you could sit here and you could play over and over again. Always going for different scenarios and different ways to, to battle and win overall. Just a really charming and delightful time. Oh, maybe not, I don't know, charming, but... Y you know what I mean, there's there's always challenges. I feel like they're gonna ransack and take my city there. Yeah, that's an issue too. Yeah, the barbarians have taken my city. Son of a... <laughs> that's what you get for not building proper defenses in your city. Although I'm kind of worried about the... The workers. Can we rush the, uh... I don't know if we can actually rush that or not. I think, because usually you can be like, ah, I need to build this fast. And we've only got, like, really weak troops in my bases, if that makes sense. Like, we are not designed specifically for war at the minute, at the moment. I wasn't expecting any sort of conflict, so I thought I'd be safe to build there. The Ark of the Covenant. You know, I I don't think I'm crazy, but I, I feel as though the Egyptians are kind of building up uh, an army up there, you know, up above my base, and they're going to do some uh, problems and cause some issues for me. Currency, let's do writing. Settle Marie Curie in Rome. Did the study of writing. I will add her to our science production. Thank you, wizard guy. And it's also neat that you're, like, people that work with you, they kind of improve over time, if that makes sense. They, like, change with the eras. See, I don't like these guys kind of stepping on our territory, especially taking the mountain advantage against us. Oh yeah, and then you get these epic action scenarios where it's a bit kind of a random thing. Did they ever evolve this in the future ones? Like, I kind of wonder that. Like, you know, just in terms of, it's always sort of like, ugh, 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 and they fight and stuff, and then it'd be the end of it. I'm just curious if they ever, like, worked on evolving it further in regards to having more dynamic battles, or if that would be something people would like. That's another question. So we definitely need, I think, some archers. You know, to try to defend our, our city a little bit better, because there, there's something about the Egyptians. Like, the Egyptians have a lot of troops, you know, already. It's, it's a bit weird that they've already, you know, built so much. A republic? Oh! <gasps> Thebes is the best city. Yes, let's just have peace, Queen Elizabeth. Although they do like their imperialism. Okay, so we've got Hotches. Let's build legionnaires, I guess. And let's have the archers defend the city, because I feel like with the Egyptian forces kind of just chilling around there, I got a, a bad feeling about it. And at this point we're doing more just kind of gameplay, because this is a fun game to play. Instruction. 
Usually we need to get like an aqueduct going. I don't know if I've just completely missed that, but I think we should get construction going on here. So we've built the library. We should probably build, I think, an archer just to kind of defend the area against problems. It seems like Pompeii is, you know, living lav lavishly over there to a high degree. So we got the legionnaires, and I kind of want to build now a settler so that I can expand forward. So we're going to take the legionnaires to kind of discover territory outwards so that we can kind of, you know, send our basically our settlers there and have a bit of a defense going on. We're not even in a good spot to, like, build wonders or anything. Yeah, I don't like them coming that close. They might, uh, might be looking for war here. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Yeah, there's, there's always something going on with the, the enemy forces in this game, I tell ya. They've always got something up their sleeves. I think I should build over there somewhere. So we've got archers to defend the city. Okay, should we build a wonder? The Great Library. I feel like someone else is gonna build it. Huh. Discovers University? That's true. I guess we could put an effort in. 38 term, or turns. Jeez, okay, so the archers will help defend the city. We're going to use Pompeii as a bit of... Well, Pompeii probably would be able to produce it even faster. Now that I'm thinking. Let's see what we want to build. Currency. Monarchy. Yep, sure. Because I want to build. So obviously... Wow, they built like right on top of me. I do not appreciate that at all. <laughs> not in the slightest. No sorry, because that's like really cutting back my productions. I, I, I think I'm gonna have to declare war on the Egyptians or something. We're gonna have to start building up an army. So I'm not happy about this one bit. Okay, so should we take our settlers? I don't know where we should actually take our settlers. I think we're gonna Wait one turn. We're gonna bring back the legionnaires. I really don't trust these guys, kind of, you know, causing problems. This game looks wonderful, by the way. Like, with the improvement visually, I, I think it looks quite, quite good. Are they gonna those issues? So I see that the Egyptian city is a little bit of ways, but I don't like how on my property it is. If that makes sense, like it's right on my destruction area. Hmm. I honestly don't know where to build. I'm going to have to maybe go the other way. That's Thebes right there. It's hard to get like another city going on with the amount of troops here. So you got to do some defensive stuff. You'd usually like stack armies and troops like that. I don't like these guys. Appear the backward civilization discovered the secret of irrigation exchange for code of laws. We have no near to need of irrigation. Actually, we'll we'll do that. Irrigation's good. They're gonna send you guys up to the hill. I kind of feel like we need to take that area. We are legion. I've just got this issue where I feel like the opposing forces are gonna start causing conflict. Like, they're building up these cities like crazy. I should have went maybe more south, because I feel like they're gonna be in between my cities, if that makes sense. Ah, uh, somebody else built the Great Wonder before I could. This sucks to suck. Build building, uh, barracks. Our new units will be veterans. That's pretty good. But I think we should build. Oh, we don't have enough gold, do we? All right, let's uh, let's build uh, ch -ch -ch -ch, maybe some horsemen. Five turns. Okay, we'll do it. Bismarck of the Germans. Hmm. All right, let's go there. 
want to keep the legionnaires with them because I just like a, you know, I have this weird feeling of them uh, going to be attacking us. They have a six defense, oh, yeah, because they're archers. But I have the hill. I should have the advantage because I have the hill here. I'm gonna have them defend this area. Reminds me of the Civ Two days. I, I really want to do like a video on Civ Two or like a stream on that would be so fun. Really love that game. Siddlers, yeah, they're not gonna do much. Oh, this is a good spot up here. These guys shuffling an army together. See, I don't trust them one bit. Maybe right here? We are building legionnaires. I, I can't believe we're gonna lose Vea. I can't keep build. I can't rebuild that one, can I? Why aren't the uh, legionnaires coming over here? There we go. So they got the fishing spot there. Son of a. You know, I'm trying to build out my empire. They're discovering stuff so much better than I am. There are more ammon the burial masonry. Oh, democracy! I want to get some democracy going on there. So we won't build some arches. Oh, they're gonna accept our monarchy and enjoy it until we can give them the democracy they want. They don't know how the the Egyptians have built up, you know, this this group of uh, like all of these armies already. It's so weird to me. The barracks, library, workshop. I think we're gonna do triple the production of it. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Do we should we just move the army in here? I'm kind of like worried about doing territorial expansion against the Egyptians. They've got like. Quite a quite a squad set up here. I don't know what kind of difficulty we're dealing with, but <laughs> seems like these uh, opposing forces are causing problems here. Oh, now they're merely uncivilized. Kind of feel like oh, I could move in on that. It'd be a very even battle, but they have the hill advantage. I knew we shouldn't have left the hill. Like we're gonna put guys back on the hill so that enemies can't like come and attack us or something. Just just not smart. Build unit. Oh, can we finally build the road? Oh, there we go. 30 gold. Oh, they built it that fast? That's great. It's like it didn't even take much of an effort. Hey, should we build a settler or should we get some... Uh, let's, let's do... Uh, let's do settlers. We need to expand our empire a bit here. I think we need better defense down in this spot. Ooh, is that some oil do I see? That could be helpful for our growing empire. I feel like we should just kind of hold the oil here almost. Hmm. So we've only got like a little bit of defense here. But we can send troops that way very fast, so we're gonna gonna kind of go back on the hill, and we're gonna defend that hill. Got a bad feeling about these enemies. Yeah, let's defend that spot. I kind of I want that spot there, if that makes sense. Like I want right where those guys are standing. Oh, we got some archers here. That's good. Let's build. Maybe we need a building. 
barracks or a library generate twice as much science. Uh, build units. I've held legionnaires. I'm just kind of wondering what our game plan is supposed to be on this one. Legionnaires. Hmm. There we go. We're defending this city. Like our life depends on it. So are we at war now? Oh! My horse is... Unbelievable. They gonna attack us? I want to activate this unit. I'm pressing A. I don't get it. Oh, it's because they're on the hill, right? They need an extra turn. They are ransacking my main city. That's not good. Oh, they destroyed our fortifications. Think about guys. Beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. Democracy. Should we go up to feudalism? Oh, I shouldn't have changed to a democracy. Because then we can't fight them. I can't even activate my troops up there. They get to attack us a bunch, and then they just get to be like, hey, let's be friends, and my like government's like, okay, do it. But this is ridiculous. I had to test this barbaric situation. Okay. We're gonna form an army there. Religion? No thanks. Uh, probably need currency. And we definitely need... Oh, we can have some pikemen. I wonder if that auto-upgrades our guys in this game or not. Any wonder we can build? The Magna Carta. I feel like we're not going to build that fast enough. Bring it on, Bismarck. Why you guys are supposed to just go to the city? That's why we built this road, to go to the safety of Pompeii. Jeez. I actually keep defending that spot. A warrior and an archer. Oh, That's not good. What shall we build in Ravina? I don't know. We've got two legionnaires. We need one more legionnaire for an army, but we've got... We've moved on. We're in pikemen and cataphracts. Ugh, probably need some pikemen. Unbelievable. I told them to flee the city, but in realism... Oh, these guys are there too now. Oh my god. I just want to build up my influence, you know? Peddlers are so weak. <laughs> I think we should send the units there. I think we should send the guys here. I just feel like if we lose this, people are just going to take this hill and cause problems for us, but I think that also about sums up our, our experience with Civilization Revolution. It's pretty cool. It's definitely worth checking out, and it's quite fun. I could probably sit here for hours and waste so much time playing it.